What's going on people, it's Greg here with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to automatically attach all the files in a folder to an email and send it. So let's get into it. Alright, so on the left I've got my VBA editor, on the right I've got my test folder, um, and inside of this test folder are more folders. And what we want to do is um, use our code to automatically attach whatever files are inside of these folders to the email. So let's start with our macro, let's go ahead and call our sub email all files in folder and then we'll declare our variables we'll have out app as an object out mail as an object then we're going to have our string body str body as a string my folder as a string and then lastly we'll have my file as a string so now we'll set out app equal to create object and then we're going to be opening the outlook application and then we're going to set out mail equal to out app and then we're going to be creating an item Okay, and then so for my folder, that's going to be equal to this test folder here. And let me go ahead and choose one of these. So we'll go with, we'll go with some files. So I click that, and then I'll right click here and I'll copy the address as text. So I can just go ahead and paste that in here. Add a backslash, uh, a backslash, and then my file will simply be directory uh, my folder okay so for str body we're gonna set our body style and let's make that so we'll have a font size of let's go with 12 well 14 let's do 14 14 and then our fonts family let's go with Arial and then I'm gonna keep this line going so let's use an ampersand and an underscore and keep in mind you have to put a space in between the ampersand and the underscore otherwise you'll get an error so keep that in mind put a space in between and keep it going so then our message will say hi team then we'll use a, bar a, a paragraph break please see files attached and then we'll use another paragraph break here and then ampersand space underscore next line and then at the end we'll say thanks and then our regular break and I'll just put my name so we're gonna send an email with that says hi team um, and then two lines down please see files attached two lines down thanks one line down Greg okay so then let's keep going on error resume next so without mail we're gonna send this to let's make up a random email address so one two three at abc.com we're gonna CC no one BCC no one the subject let's go with daily files and let's put a space after that and then just throw a date in there so we'll do ampersand format and have the date um, let's go with month month slash day day slash year 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 and then we want to display the email message before it gets sent out Next, we'll have our HTML body, and we'll set that to our string body here. So that'll be equal to str body. And then we're going to have HTML body again. So here's where we're going to add the attachments. So we'll go ahead and use a do while loop for this. So we'll do while 
my file is not equal to nothing. So as long as there's a file in the folder, it will continue to attach or continue to go through the loop. So let's close our loop with loop. And then we'll do attachments, add, and then we're gonna use my folder. So this directory, or sorry, this path up here. And then we're gonna attach the current file, so my file. So this will change each time. This path stays the same, but my file will continue to uh, iterate. So we'll go my file equals dir. All right, next we'll do, we'll end our width here. And then on error, go to zero. And then we'll set out mail equal to nothing and set out app equal to nothing. And that should do it. Let's go ahead and give it a try. And keep in mind, we want to see an email that attaches all three of these files from this folder. So let's see what happens. Boom, there you have it. Hi team, please see files attached. Thanks, Greg. So let's go ahead and try a different folder and let's change the font. So let's make it 11 instead. And then instead of some files folder, let's go with, close this out. Let's go with more files. So there's actually 10 items in here, as you can see. So I'll just change this here to more files. Run it. And you see how the font's smaller here, and I've got all five, uh, sorry, all 10 files attached. So it works out really well. So if you got a folder that's got files, you don't know how many files are going to be in there. They can change any any given day. You can go ahead and use a macro like this to go ahead and grab them all. Really comes in handy. Let's try another one. Let's do sample. And inside of sample, we've got three. Okay. Did I do something wrong? Oh, sample data files. Oops. There we go. Cool. So, yeah, that's all I've got for today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one.